Today, the National Weather Service's Climate Prediction Center released its spring weather outlook. So what does that mean for Middle Tennessee's severe weather? Meteorologist Davis Nolan takes a look. Well, the spring seasonal outlook for our part of the country from the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures. And likewise, they're also calling for above normal precipitation in the southeast, including Tennessee and Kentucky. So what does that mean as far as severe weather is concerned during our springtime months? Now, you may have heard we've been in an El Nino pattern, and normally it's La Nina during the springtime that causes the most problems for the southeastern United States and other parts of the United States as well. So I asked the experts from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just what were their thoughts on our situation this year? If we were in a La Nina, a La Nina winter going into the spring, typically we have a more uh, troughing or the upper pattern is more conducive for uh, potential severe weather in the plains, including and also the southeast and midwest with that sort of situation. Um, but we don't have that this year. And so we're kind of in a transition to ENSO neutral. So really right now, there's not much that can be said reliably or confidently with respect to the severe weather season in your area. And flooding is always a concern during the spring months in Middle Tennessee and South Kentucky, from flash flooding to major river flooding like we saw in 2010. April and May are always a concern. But the spring flood outlook is calling for the possibility of minor flooding in our part of the country, meaning minimal or no property damage, though roads may be inundated in heavy rain events. The good news is that although we are still seeing moderate drought conditions in our southwestern counties, the seasonal drought outlook is calling for the likely removal of those conditions with the expected above normal rainfall. Now, I do want to emphasize that these conclusions don't mean that we won't have any severe weather or we won't have any flooding. It's something we still need to keep an eye on. I'm News 2 meteorologist Davis Nolan.